Hello and welcome to Halfstone. Silray is here with another starter deck and this time we are looking at the Paladin. I'll be outright honest and say that this is probably the strongest of all the starter decks I will be listing out. And also this one requires no crafting whatsoever. However, it requires you to hit level 10 as a paladin to have access to all the cards. You will not have access to Consecration or True Silver Champion as an example until you have done some leveling with the paladin class. So replace all the things you don't have access to yet with pretty much anything and the deck will can still function. So let's talk about few card combos. First of all, Warlord, absolutely stellar for this deck because the deck contains a lot of Vini creatures, a lot of co token creatures you get for playing, let's say, Moloch, Tidehunter, Razor Fan Hunter, Dragonling Mechanic, and also the Paladin class ability, which brings a 1 1 token creature on the field when used. All of this makes Frostwolf Warlord stronger when they are, when the board is filled and you play him, he become, becomes a big threat. The deck features multiple ways of turning the tiny threats you bring onto the field through all those tokens you generate into actual threats. Raid Leader, Stormwind Champion, and then buffing spells like Blessing of Kings and Blessing of Might. These allows, all allow you to use your tiny creatures to trade for much stronger enemy creatures or to deal massive damage to the enemy hero. The deck also has two ways of actually helping you keep the enemy side of the board clear of all threats, through Silver Champion as a weapon and Consecration as a simple area effect damage to, well, all enemy minions, including the enemy hero. Overall, there just isn't too much to talk about this particular deck because it's pretty straightforward and it is strong as a free-to-play deck. If your goal is to simply try to win matches in ranked, starting from, you know, as early as possible, this is the deck you will want to use. You will have to hit level 10 as a paladin, but yeah, once you get there, you can give most decks run for their money, even if they are running certain legendaries and whatnot. I also take no credit whatsoever, as usual, for creating this deck. I actually believe this deck, in its exact format, was uh, posted before, like months ago already. I just uh, was trying to remember if the deck had um, two fairy dragons instead of the swamp poses, which I have here. Swamp poses do not require crafting, that's why they, I have them in this form of the deck. But I can't remember for the life of me. Hopefully this will help you get started on a paladin or maybe even started on your career as, a, you know, getting down the ranks in Hearthstone. Thank you very much for watching.